big round of applause for Furious Reptile! We have one last performer and one last stupid joke. Now, we all know that McDonald's uses a lot of beef, but they also grow a lot of lettuce and tomatoes. They have their actually their own farms that they grow all this stuff from. And while it's not nearly as famous as McDonald's, I have recently taken a leadership position of that in their entire vegetable production. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take over all the farms and feed McDonald's. And they're gonna call me the uh, officially the their new CIO EIO. CIO. Yeah, there you go. EIO. Thank you for giving the joke, even if I screwed it up. I am the final performer. So put your hands together for Skinny and his pumpkin stew. <laughs> had some great Halloween things, although our performer with the gruesome bird story just left. We heard Tam Lin and the ghost story is there, and Hasidic had kind of a ghost story as well. <laughs> I am going to do some also vaguely Halloween-ish kind of things. The first one is a very simple and silly one. There was a little fly and he flew to the store and ish upon the ceiling and ish upon the floor. Ish upon the ceiling and ish upon the hand and ish upon the head of the little grocery man. Boop, boop, boop. Now the little grocery man got his little spray gun. He swore he'd get the fly before the day was done. Before he could count from one to ten, the fly flew and ish upon his baldy head again. Boop, boop, boop. There was a little Fly and they flew to the store and ish upon the ceiling and ish upon the floor, ish upon the bacon and ish upon the ham and ish upon the head of the little grocery man. Down the little grocery man and his little grocery wife swore they would get the fly even if it meant their life. They bought themselves a hand grenade and hid inside the store. And they blew themselves to places as the fly flew out the door. There was a little fly at the glue to the store and ish upon the ceiling and ish upon the floor. Ish upon the bacon and ish upon the ham and ish upon the head of the little grocery man. Now they both went up to heaven and angels they were made. St. Peter said to them that they would be repaid. They got their angels' wings and they flew into the sky. And they both swooped down like bombers and ish upon the fly. There was a little fly and they flew to the store and ish upon the ceiling and ish upon the floor. Ish upon the bacon and ish upon the ham and ish upon the head of the little grocery man. Thank you! The second song is a bit more serious. It is a story originally sung by two wonderful ladies in a band called Echo's Children. Um, so parts of it sound a little weird, it's because my guy's singing it, but really, it doesn't make any difference. The song tells the story of a pair of siblings, and one of them, without consent, is being forced to marry the terrible spirit that lives in the barrows, which is an old-fashioned term for a cemetery, a nearby cemetery, a burial hill nearby. <coughs> And this is the song of what her sibling does to try to get her out of this terrible marriage. It's called The Wedding Dance. Jenny wouldn't tell me why she laid awake last night. But I saw her wide eyes glisten in the candle's gauzy light. I felt her body tremble to the pounding on I sat right up in bed and flung the window shutters wide. My sister's flesh was icy where she shivered by my side. The chestnut cast a shadow as I'd often seen before. But I saw Jenny's eyes and she saw something more. There is something by the chestnut tree that 
for a bottle of cane. It is singing to my sister, it is calling her by name. She says that she must marry him the night he comes again. I'll be rolled in flour and fried before the Hamilton. The flute's my only sweetheart. If the spirit bay and fell, thinks that music is his power, he may find it's mine as well. So I told her, courage, Jenny, for I think we have a chance. Though I cannot stop the wedding, let me play the wedding dance. It was a nearly wedding night with no one there to see. A shadow and a shadow. My sister there and me, and when the words were spoken and the spirit turned away, I lifted the to lip and I began to play. There is something by the chestnut tree from the barrow okay. It is singing to my sister, it is calling her my name. She says that she must marry him the night he comes again, I'll be rolled in flour and fried before the Amorgen. The flutes folk and dancing, it was all that I could hear. And the starry sky above us made an icy chandelier. My sister took the hand of someone almost in my view. I pulled him half against his will till he was dancing too. Jenny stepped and swung her up, spirit in the blue, leading up the dancing as they missed his bride and groom, and shadow doubled shadow till apparent to my plans. The kinsmen of the groom had come to join the dance. There is something by the chestnut tree from the bottle came. It is singing to my sister, it is calling her by name. She says that she must marry him the night he comes again. I'll be rolled in flour and fried before the margin. I play the song for hours and the melody. Until Jenny's passing feet are leaving tracks of blood behind. I see I have accomplished all I hoped I would achieve. They are captive to the dance, and while I play, they cannot leave. But I cannot play forever here beneath the freezing sky. My hands are made of blood, my hair is hanging in my eyes. My fingers start to falter and to lose their sense and grace. And the look of terror deepens on my sister's face. There is something by the chestnut tree that from the barrow came. It is singing to my sister, it is calling her by name. She says that she must marry him the night he comes again. I'll be rolled in flour and fried before the Havarchan. I force my hands to the melody. I know I must be. But a dozen minutes now, the sky is cold and pale. The sun puts forth its fingers as a soul in terror moans. And the groom and all the wedding guests are only standing stones. Jenny crumples suddenly, and all my strength is done. And we laugh and cry together, and we bless the rising sun. 
and turn to other peril for the treasure it may hold. For gents of master's widow, and to all he is called. There is something by the chestnut tree that from the barrow came. It is singing to my sister, it is quoting her by name. She says that she must marry him, the night he comes again. I'll be rolled in flour and fried before the 